she's actually really nice. Uh, her confidant abilities. Let's talk. Um, there seems to be a number of disasters heading your way. There, are, There's one that hints of death. Med... I can't make out anything else. But you will need to be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Do a verification test, please. I will surely figure out your trick. Alright. Let's hang out with her. Oh, I just... Uh, I was just about to do a reading for a client. So please stay and watch. Well, I'm gonna go walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Be careful not to get picked up by, like, some strange child. Strange child. Random child. Good evening. Hello there, Mifune-sensei. Mifune I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. Apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Uh, okay. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? Uh, something like that just, uh, is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um. I take that you mean something... I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for a, success, for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just a natural order of things because I'm a woman. How terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if uh, we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, O oh divine power. Survey so says. Yes, I've seen everything. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. No, what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? Yeah, of do? course. What do, uh, what can we do to help this woman who is oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Suggest she gives up. Uh, change her heart, uh, her boss's heart. Encourage her. What? What? A little idealistic to expect that it will actually work. Incidentally, uh, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Rah! Overturn your fate. Fight the power. Rah, rah, fight the power. Overturn your fate. Don't be so irresponsible. That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Oh, she's really laying into it. Okay, come on. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mifune-sensei. What? Huh? You're far too irresponsible, Amamiya-san. Her misfortune has already been made clear. The cars will surely back me up on that. And... I, I play a wild uh, draw four on you. Uno, bitch. It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now up here as extremely successful. Hey, I want to cut on that. <laughs> hey, I, I was the one who suggested that, okay? I don't care if it's a tiny cut. I want to cut. Are you, are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. 
Oh god. <laughs> she is gonna attack me. Oh, nope. Yes, this that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. You're so stubborn. Opening your mind to change. Good lord, girl. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Get rid of it. Anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now. Both times coming before my very eyes. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. You're expecting it to flop? Rank two. All right. All right. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. Well, that's enough for today. Good night. So stubborn. What is it? Hi, is this Amamiya-san? I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? Are you following me? <laughs> of course I am. And if I am, are you stalking me? Of course I am. See, that's exactly what my reading told me. It is absolute after all. Well, now I'm going to walk away from the house. If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. This this is why I believe I need to conduct the, these verifications with you. So please promise me you'll stop by my booth again. Also, I don't know. That, that just seems kind of like, I don't know, probably the wrong word, but petty fortune telling. It's like, where is he right now? From his house. It's like, I think you're abused in your divine power there. Ugh. The 6th of July. Oh wow, just straight to after school. Okay. Alright, so it's rainy. Oh god. No one's available again. Uh, Chia is not gonna be there. Oh god, no one's here. What day is it? It's Wednesday. Crap. Well, um, I guess I'm going to improve social stats. Uh... I'll just add this. Wanted to make a quick save. Two days later. And I'm going to... Actually, I want to check out the library. I just want to see something real quick. Doesn't mean I'm actually going to get into anything. Reading table. Uh, where is it? Speed reader. Easy to learn speed reading techniques helps you to increase your reading speed. Please do. I know this isn't improving my social stats, but by handling your eyes and brain separately, your efficiency. Mm. Wow, that, that's a pretty scientific approach. At least the illustration makes it easier to understand. And now we are a speed reader. Whoa. I can already see that you're able to read with more efficiency now. All right. From now on, you can read at double the speed, allowing you to cover twice the material. Wanna head back? Sweet. Wait, we're in the library. Return the book! <laughs> no! Alright, um... Rain, huh? I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Ah... Uh, Kawakami is available. Hifumi is available. Mishima is available. Ah, <laughs> uh, too many people available. Too many. Akechi. Why? Oh uh, God. Um. 
Yeah, uh, da, 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 yep, oh. mm hmm. Caller. Hi. What's up, Becky? Get over here now. I got a room that needs cleaning. 5,000 yen. Let's do it. 50 bucks well spent. Thank you so much. Alright, see you in a little bit. So, Master, I want to provide more services for you. That would be great. What are you scheming? Um, uh, uh oh. Okay. Uh, what are you scheming? Definitely not. I'm definitely not scheming anything. Meow. <laughs> want to get requested more, huh? Uh, not not reading that crap. How was that? Ugh. Thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. How rude. No surprise there. How old are you? I'd get slapped for that. Uh, how rude. Seriously. Oh, crap. I don't have a temperance. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? I'm so damn good for it. Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master. Nope. Uh, you're pushing it. You need to love yourself. Um, you need to love yourself. Huh? I don't really feel I'm, uh, like I'm worth being loved, but you're right. You got out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I'll let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead, I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm such a terrible maid. Oof. Boom. Rank four. All right. Uh, I have to so... confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie, too. I already knew that. Why'd you lie to me? You're a bad teacher. I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up those type of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. Hey, 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 hey! Ah, she's gone. And I need to redo that day. <laughs> Crap. Alright. Hot again today. Yeah, it is. Konoshiro's deadline is drawing near. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> We're fine. As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have. If you say so, then. Yes, I'm sure it'll go well. Y'all worry too much. Y'all are such big worry warts. Seriously. Ah, right, great. Stuff's happening. Yep. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh yeah, today is uh, Tanabata, the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll put uh, up bamboo decorations and write my wish on a piece of paper, though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh, but there's a traditional food associated with uh, Tanabata. 
Just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. Do you know the answer? Takamaki-san, tell me what is the traditional Tanabata food? I'll give you a hint. It's based on a certain motif in Tanabata's myth. I know nothing about Tanabata. Um. Hey, wait. Uh. Counting on you. So Tanabata is about gods crossing a starry sky to reunite once every year. It might have something to do with uh, pomegranates, the Milky Way, spaceships. Um. Uh. Milky Way? Oh yeah, they they got across the Milky Way to get to each other. So if the traditional food is something inspired by the Milky Way, sumin noodles, Welsh onion, con. What? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I could see that the Milky Way is like a long white bundle of them, right? The traditional food of Tanabata has got to be sumen noodle. This is it. Or somen. That's correct. <laughs> nice cheating there, on. The traditional food for Tanabata is su sumen noodles. Originally in China, they ate a baked good that we call Sakube in Japanese to appease demons. Over time, the pronunciation went from Sakube to Sakumen to Somen, a whole different, a wholly different food. Going with the theme of calming demons, Somen on Tanabata is sometimes called demon guts. Go restore your strength with some seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Thanks. No problem. Why did I increase knowledge? Charm, kindness, charm. It's so weird having to answer questions for other people in five. I remember having to do that on line three. Freaking Junpei. Senpai, I have a favor to ask today. It's not really a gymnastics thing, but would you mind going, uh, coming with me on a shopping trip? <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, Kasumi wants to hang out. Let me make sure. Oh no, wait, shoot. Uh, actually, I'll be right back. I gotta go deal with that. Okay, so, uh, I'm back. Yeah, so I definitely had to go. So I, I went and I got my Temperance Arcana back out. And, uh, I got more points, uh, with Kawakami. Uh, didn't really... I don't know if that changes much in the grand scheme of things, but, uh, yeah, I've, I've wanted to do that. So now, we've got Miss Yoshizawa to hang out with. So, let's get going. First, I want to 100 make sure, 100% make sure I have a Faith Archon. There we go. Actually... I forgot, uh, if you just answer their text and say, yeah, I'll hang out, uh, you don't, I don't believe you have to pay a fare. Oh, hello. Thank you. Vsen, thank you. Sorry. My phone always seems to be acting up. I think I'm good now, so about the place. It's in Kichijoji. You know it. I'll send you the location of the shop. I'll be waiting. Let's do this. Senpai? Sorry for dragging you out here. I need to get a pair of glasses. I've been wear uh, wanting to come here for a while, but I never had the chance to drop by. You have bad eyesight? You're looking to buy? I have enough glasses. <laughs> uh, looking to buy? Yeah, 
I want to get uh, my dad a present. You seem like a real glasses buff, so I wanted to get your advice. Could you try on a couple pairs for me? I'd like to get some visual reference. Thank you so much. Let's see. How about this pair? I think that's good. Wow, those uh, really work for you. You look so cool. What do you think? A pretty modern look, not my style. I look so aloof in these. All right, Ren. Uh, pretty modern look. I know it's so fashionable, and it's good that it it has helped your vision too. This could be a good one. Hmm. Do they see your dad though? I'm not so sure. Uh, did you see your dad? Hmm. Right. Maybe a little too hip for my dad. But your input has been really helpful so far. Would you mind poking around with me for a bit longer? Of course. Let's keep going. Sure, whatever. Let's keep going. <laughs> well, someone's enthusiastic. You're enjoying this too, huh? Then let's keep going. Time for some high-speed glasses modeling. I oh, see. man. Wow, you look like a salesman. But it doesn't really... It doesn't feel right somehow. Oh, <laughs> what am I wearing? Those definitely leave an impression. Heck, people might remember the, gla <laughs> the glasses and nothing else about you. I knew it. I'm just waiting for Teddy's gag glasses from Persona 4. You're like a star right out of ho Hollywood, but if my dad wore them, he might look a little shady. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why are those even here? I kind, I kind of want a pair. <laughs> Sorry, I can't decide. A lot of them are good, but none of them have really uh, clinched it for me yet. Uh, trust your instincts. Don't overthink it. Uh, never give up. Trust your instincts. You know, you're right. I'm the one who has to make this call. I'm just gonna, uh, going off a of gut feeling, but I'll pick this pair. I don't know how to describe it. It just seems perfect for my dad somehow. Good choice. I'm sure he'll love it. Good choice. Then it's set. Yes, I think I can be confident in this one. In fact, I know he'll like it. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you for bringing me here. Thank you so much for coming here with me today. I ended up uh, with a great present. All thanks to you, Amamiya Senpai. It's part of our deal. Not a problem at all. I expect compensation. <laughs> food. Where is food? Um, uh, not a problem at all. <laughs> well, I've still got to make it up to you. Let's go practice at Inokashira Park after this. Well, if I'm being honest, trying to pick out glasses was really setting off my anxiety. All I could think of was what had happened if I couldn't choose, or if I chose wrong. I mean, I already failed in gymnastics, and my cooking turned out bad, too. After cracking under pressure so many times, I kind of figured I'd just ruin everything again. The more I thought about it, the more empty I felt. Like I wasn't even me anymore. Everyone deals with that. That's your slump talking. Everyone deals with that. So even you know how that feels, Amamiya Senpai? It's not just me? Senpai? I think I'm starting to understand what my coach was telling me. It's easy to say you're in a slump and write yourself off. But maybe finding out who I really am is also about finding a new, uh, finding new depths in myself. It doesn't make me feel, uh, it does make me feel a little down, but at the same time, I feel like I'm closer to getting my confidence back. And ha having your support makes me even more determined to make that happen. Good luck. We'll work at it together. No rush, though. We'll work at it together. <laughs> this is strange. I don't know if I should be feeling like this. I want to give my best performance but it's like I'd be doing it 
for you as much as for myself, or something like that. Aw, oh, she's blushing. I'm still working on myself, but I hope we can keep helping each other too. Rank up! Chain's Hook allows you to ambush from a distance by attacking with your grappling hook. That's gotta be awesome. Right. I can't wait to see that. After the lesson with Kasumi, Ren can now use uh, Chain's Hook. Uh, using your grappling hook will enable you to attack a shadow that is slightly further away than usual and start a preemptive battle. When you start a battle with your chain's hook, the enemy will begin the fight inflicted with dizzy, confused, or fear. Ooh. Now, we should get uh, to training. Maybe we can try some intermediate level exercise today. Hooray! Max HP gone up. Oh. Let's stop there. Good effort today. I'll be heading home now. I should get going. I'll contact you again soon. And the follow-up. Right on time. Hello, I'm Amiya Senpai. Are you able to talk right now? So I already gave my dad the glasses we picked out today. And it suits him even better than I imagined. He was so happy with them. I'm glad to hear that. Should be more confident. Of course he is. Uh, glad to hear it. Thank you. I think this helped me feel a lot more, con a little more confident. And thanks to you, I even feel like my gymnastics are going to get go better now. I'm sick of wasting my time worrying. Whatever I'm up against, I'm just gonna give it my best shot. But actions always speak louder than words, right? I'll prove I'm. I'll prove I'm not all talk. Okay, I better go. I hope we can talk again later. All right, evening. Uh, Yay. Back. One sec. All right, we're back. Chi is available. Who else is available though? Uh, everyone there, no one. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go talk to Chihaya again. I guess. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Chihaya! What's up? Um, hmm, there seems to be a number of disasters heading your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a verification test. Clotho. Hang out. I'm actually doing a reading for a client right now, so please stay and watch. I mean, no one's here. Good evening. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Yeah, um, a colleague of mine recommended you. He said you can help fix my problems, is that right? Yes. Of course, fate is absolute. So, um, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had uh, since all the way back in preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful, congratulations. So what's worrying you? Is the date of the ceremony or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? Oh, um, it's not that, like that. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. Truth is, the president of one of our, uh, one of our major business partners has offered me her daughter's hand. What? So this is, uh, what it means to be weighed down by social obligations. Do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined the president's offer? <laughs> Please, please relax. The divine power will bring us your answer. And me. Thank you. Yes, I've seen everything. My, it seems uh, you will face financial ruin if you decline. No. Does this mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um, um I'm Amiya-senpai. This may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. 
This man is bound by the uh, fetters, that's a new one, of social obligation. How should he move forward? Go for the money, follow his heart. Chase a promotion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, follow your heart. Oh, that's a wonderful suggestion. Though I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. Incidentally, uh, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? Thieves may steal her away. Marriage kills individuality. She'll be sad if you break it off. Thieves may steal her away. She's not a child. Wait, you really think someone else would try to go after her? Uh, I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. The only one who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. I, I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It happened. It's happened again. So you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I had questioned your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate can, in fact, be changed. You've proven that to me. <laughs> and as a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special service uh, for you from now on. Oh, oh, why am I again? Why am I again? Come on, come on, come on. Money reading. Uh, All right. <clears throat> I forgot which order it was. Um, you know, I never thought it, it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? I'm not, sorry. Who knows? Uh, I'm not. <clears throat> but for now, that wish only reminds me of my inability to change my own fate. I will forever be a monster. A monster? Um, my, it's gotten so late. I should start packing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Someone dodged something. Hey. There we go. Let's read. Speed reader. Mm -hmm. By hand. Uh, there we go. So yeah. Um, I don't remember if I said it, but I changed the. The day slot from speed uh, reading the speed reader book to going to the diner and uh, getting uh, the kindness steak or the nostalgic steak. All right. Yep. So reading has improved. There we go. And it's after school already. Okay. What do we got? We've got Maruki who's not available on. None there. Takemi, not available. So I guess it's just on. Uh, sure. But first, I need to go to the velvet room. Actually, first I need to go to the, uh, the library and turn in that book. Yo. You like? Uh, return. Thank you. Speed you reader. Like? Borrow. Wait, you don't... Well, I guess I did already read it, but... Uh, the Gallant Rogue. Going on. Guts. Uh, kindness with Johanna. Hmm. Alright, the Gallant Rogue. Now, we go to the Velvet Room. Okay, whoa. Wow. Uh, oh, no, wait. I know where I am. That's why it's really empty. I thought I was on the other side. Whoops. There we go. There's all the people. All right, on. Uh, let's uh, let's hang out. Leon Seed, let's do this. Hang out with her. Looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate creeps today. I have the worst luck. Oh, got a message. 
Oh, an email. Hmm? Looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what, it could, what they could want. Huh? Mika? At Skytree? Where's that? Um. They want me to head over for a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, the this men's magazine is running a Mika special trying to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. But apparently, she asked for me uh, specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. Wonder why? It's a trap. She admires you. Uh, I'm not feeling good about this. But the game probably just wants me to say this. Huh? So you think uh, what she said earlier was the truth? Hold on, though. Why would you trick someone you admire? Well, I guess I won't know and, uh, what she wants unless I head over. Hey. Have you been to Skytree before? How do you get there? Let's go. Oh, and can you come with me? Actually, I've already decided for you. You're going. Come on. Great. I get no say in this. Asakusa Oshiage. Asakusa. Where do I know Asakusa from? That's not from an earlier Persona game, is it? I don't remember. And we're here. Alright, we made it. Wait, where's Mika? Oh, so you came for my special? You asked me for, uh, you asked for me, right? Wow, I barely recognized mm -hmm. you. Did you lose weight or maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot is the elegance of women. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. What? What do you mean? Controlling uh, what you eat, how you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat, making sure to check the nutritional and uh, caloric content. I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Wow. Whoa, that's amazing. Does that mean you don't get uh, to eat? Oh, God. On. Come on. Of course I don't. I'd get fat uh, with just one bite of that stuff. Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do uh, Pilates and yoga. Day after day, how many squats do you think I do in a week? Ugh, a natural beauty like you can never understand how much work I put into my modeling. <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing getting uh, complimented like that. Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was natural airhead. What did you say? Who are you calling an airhead? You don't want to piss off on, trust me. Oh no. Starting up a fight. Same jacket again. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, Anchan, could you try being a little sexier? Wait. You should have known that was a lie. But I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? Ah, oh, great. It's a battle. Cat fight! Eh. Uh. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. the owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all you may, may, just makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah. Um. um, I'm heading home. Smart idea. Wow. Feeling all right? Why did Mika ask for me? So that she could show you up. Because you're a natural beauty. So she could show you up. I see. Then she was just trying to be mean. Uh, if that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. Cheer up. Please don't cry. Uh, you good? 
I'm... I'm so pissed off. Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, washed her diet, made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level from me. Mika is amazing. Mika is, Mika is strong. But me, I'm nothing. Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode. This whole time I've just been pretending to model. It was like the clothes were wearing me. Oh god, are we getting into kill a kill shit here? God. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear. Casts a stunning magic on- God, this really is kill a kill. Jesus. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Well, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model. You already are one. Go get him, Tiger. Yes, Spider-Man reference. What about your action movies? <laughs> uh, go get him, Tiger. Right, I'll give it my all. I'm going to take the world by storm. Just you watch, Ren. And on is motivated as all hell. Jeez. Wouldn't want to stand in her way. Ugh, I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets, but no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will, but not today. You eat some for me, Ren. Uh. Bye. Later. What'd you forget on? Ren, it's me. I've been pissed since I left. I can't help it. Well, I'll say it again. I'm taking the modeling world by storm, and I didn't. And I don't care what I have to do to get there. Hey, careful now. That is a dangerous road to walk. Obviously, that means dieting, cutting back on food, and no matter how tough it is, I'll do any workout. You got this. Don't string yourself. Trying to be like Mika. You got this. Come on. Yep, I'm so sick of feeling how I did today. This is the first for me, actually. Feeling this pissed off, I mean. Usually, even if I have a crappy day, I just get it over it by having snacks, watching TV, and sleeping it off. Well, I mean, there was that whole Kamashita thing. I mean, you were you were really pissed off there. But this time it's different. I want to change. Tomorrow I want to be better than I am today. And that's the real meaning of life. Ah, you're back. Alrighty. What now? The deadline's tomorrow. We gonna be okay? The pictures are gone. He has no avenue to threaten us anymore. That is, if we we're able to trust what Kaneshiro said. Don't say such scary stuff. We can't relax just yet. He may still end up uh, released from police custody. For real? That is, unless they have uh, decisive evidence like a confession. It'll be fine. I'm worried. It'll be fine. True. There does seem to be some uh, movement. Sis actually sent me a message saying she won't be home tonight. There's a chance that the police have found their breakthrough. Oh, does that mean it happened? The timing is perfect. I guess let's just hope for the best. I'm going to stay up all night watching the news to find out. And I got to go answer that phone. Okay, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Kawakami is available, of course. No one's available over there. Machine is available. Yeah, uh, we're probably just gonna call Kawakami again. Uh, crap, that means I need a temperance. Crap! <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, so I got me a temperance persona. I decided just to, you know, 
Why am I getting the expensive ones when I could just get the cheap ones? It's not like it's gonna matter, is it? Let's call the service. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya is getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school, but don't uh, don't make too uh, many detours, okay? You understand what I told you last time, right? And you and you still want to request me? Yep, I have no control over my life. I just feel like I'm a character in a video game. Are you serious? I told you that story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money, and you still request me? It's fun. I want to know more. Who's the master here? Oh god, really? Well, I am thankful that you're requesting me, but... You really are str one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. And yet, you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. <sighs> so... The money is actually an apology. There was a student named Takase at the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather, pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child at all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. I mean, that's the whole, like, certain students, you know, need a lot more help than others. <laughs> then a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. On top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Tak Takase-kun. How terrible. It's inevitable. So, did you stop? How terrible. Yeah. But you could say the same about me. I got scared of losing my job and of having rumors spread about me. So, I canceled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takasekun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all days, it was New Year's Eve, and it had been pouring rain all day. And he died in a car crash. God. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. But then he said that it was no big deal, because he had to work anyway so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I had kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. It was bad luck. It was no one's fault. Ah, uh, God. It's like no matter what you say, trying to, trying to pardon something like that is just, it's really hard. Takasekun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working on all his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said they were uh, that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of education. I wouldn't have made uh, been accused of a crime, but if word gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what, so I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. You okay with that? Guardians, huh? You okay with that? It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. 
It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangements, so... See? Nothing that, uh, good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been c uh, coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. It's too late now. What about our deal? I want to see you again. It's too late now. I'm a Mia-kun. You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're uh, in this together, now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get free periods with them too. Yes! Boo! Yeah! Free time! Gain free time in other teacher classes uh, with Kawakami's help. Alright. Sweet. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm going to put more energy into it than usual today. <laughs> oh my, this room is so dusty. Even though I wipe the place uh, squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, Master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. God, that got sad quick. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, wow, it's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad, maybe we'd better, uh, off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Uh-uh, don't. You. Dare. Well, the shabby, I mean, chicness of this room is truly its charm. So let's keep at it as is. All right, I have to go. Thank you so much. God. It breaks my heart every time I hear that story. Oh, is this Master? Thank you uh, for using our service today. Uh, this is so soul draining. I'm just going to talk normally. No point making sales calls this late anyways. By the way, I've al always wanted to ask, but do you live in that cafe right now? There's always this nice curry smell around the place. And do, do you get to eat the place curry every day? Curry is all I eat. You get bored of the taste. You want some? Want some? Oh, then I can serve it to you. Imagine it was cooked by your own maid with lots of love. Okay, that was just a, that was a joke, but God, I could really go for some homemade curry right now. Hey, next time you're over, my treat. Oh, can't seem to shake this cough. I've been so busy lately, but I'll always be ready and waiting for Master to request me. Okay, don't stay up too late night. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say now, but okay. Grab his cops. <gasps> We're gonna hide. Alright. And it's the ninth. This should be Kaneshiro's confession. The deadline. Where am I? Why am I not on the train? Oh, man. Oh, it's so hot. Who cares? Did you catch the news report this morning about the mafia boss getting busted? Apparently, someone scattered calling cards all across Shibuya just before this arrest. Remember the Kamashita scandal? They say uh, the same thing happened, that someone left a calling card. Matarami too, if I'm not mistaken. Do you think it's the Phantom Thieves? If so, if so I'm impressed. I can't believe uh, they actually steal hearts. I tend to get confused on who's talking in those situations. No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junior Kanashiro. Take that, police. And yet he simply turned himself uh, even God, I actually no. I think back what I say, especially during this uh, today's times. Holy cow, it's it, it's been a roller coaster these past couple weeks. The Phantom Thieves. Yep. That's us. To 
hit someone's heart. Yay! Got the trophy. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. Too late. Oh, it's a lot worse side, trust me. <laughs> uh, you can work on my evil laughter. The Phantom Thieves. Oh, come on, Akechi. Let's go play pool later. You'll feel better. Damn it. Oh, someone's not happy. 